Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Henic Shanlin Purpura. Henic Shanlin Purpura, HSP, is a vasculitis of unknown etiology, characterized by inflammation of small blood vessels, with leukocytic infiltration of tissue, hemorrhage, and ischemia. The immune complexes associated with HSP are predominantly composed of immunoglobulin A, suggesting a hypersensitivity process. HSP is the most common systemic vasculitis of childhood and cause of non-thrombocytopenic purpura, with an incidence of 13 per 100,000 children. It occurs primarily in children 3 to 15 years of age, although it has been described in adults. HSP is slightly more common in boys than girls, and occurs more frequently in the winter than in the summer months. Its clinical features include, red urine and hematuria, proteinuria, scrotal pain, fever and rash, petechia or purpura. HSP is characterized by rash, arthritis, and less frequently, gastrointestinal or renal vasculitis. The hallmark of HSP is palpable purpura, caused by small vessel inflammation in the skin, leading to extravasation of blood into the surrounding tissues, frequently with IgA deposition. The rash is classically found in dependent areas, below the waist, on the buttocks, and lower extremities. The rash can begin as small macules or urticarial lesions, but rapidly progresses to purpura with areas of ecchymosis. The rash also can be accompanied by edema, particularly of the calves and dorsum of the feet, scalp, and scrotum or labia. HSP occasionally is associated with encephalopathy, pancreatitis, and orchitis. Arthritis occurs in 80% of patients with HSP, and is most common in the lower extremities, particularly the ankles and knees. The arthritis is acute and very painful, with refusal to bear weight. Joint swelling can be confused with peripheral edema seen with the rash of HSP. Gastrointestinal involvement occurs in about one half of affected children, and most typically presents as mild to moderate crampy abdominal pain, thought to be due to small vessel involvement of the gastrointestinal tract leading to ischemia. Less commonly, significant abdominal distension, bloody diarrhea, intussusception, or abdominal perforation occurs, and requires emergent intervention. Gastrointestinal involvement is typically seen during the acute phase of the illness. It may precede the onset of rash. One-third of children with HSP develop renal involvement, which can be acute or chronic. Although renal involvement is mild in most cases, acute glomerulonephritis manifested by hematuria, hypertension, or acute renal failure can occur. Most cases of glomerulonephritis occur within the first few months of presentation, but rarely patients develop late renal disease, which ultimately can lead to chronic renal disease, including renal failure. For the investigations, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, C-reactive protein, and white blood cell count are elevated in patients with HSP. The platelet count is the most important test, because HSP is characterized by non-thrombocytopenic purpura, with a normal, or even high platelet count, differentiating HSP from other causes of purpura that are associated with thrombocytopenia, such as autoimmune thrombocytopenia, systemic lupus erythematosus, or leukemia. A urinalysis screens for evidence of hematuria. A serum blood urea nitrogen and creatinine should be obtained to evaluate renal function. Testing the stool for blood may identify evidence of gut ischemia. Any question of gut perforation requires radiological investigation. The diagnosis of HSP is based on the presence of two of four criteria. Palpable purpura. Bowel angina. Diagnostic biopsy, with histological changes showing granulocytes in the walls of arterioles or venules, and IgA deposits in vessel wall. And the age group less than 20 years old at onset of symptoms. For treatment. Therapy for HSP is supportive. A short-term course of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can be administered for the acute arthritis. Systemic corticosteroids usually are reserved for children with gastrointestinal disease and provide significant relief of abdominal pain. A typical dosing regimen is prednisone, 1 mg per kilogram per day for 1 to 2 weeks, followed by a taper schedule. Recurrence of abdominal pain as corticosteroids are weaned may necessitate a longer course of treatment. Acute nephritis typically is treated with corticosteroids, but may require more aggressive immunosuppressive therapy. For its complications, most cases of HSP are monophasic, lasting 3 to 4 weeks and resolving completely. The rash can wax and wane, however, for one year after the initial episode of HSP. Parents should be warned regarding possible recurrences. The arthritis of HSP does not leave any permanent joint damage, it does not typically recur. 
Gastrointestinal involvement can lead to temporary abnormal peristalsis that poses a risk of intussusception, which may be followed by complete obstruction or infarction with bowel perforation. Any child with a recent history of HSP, who presents with acute abdominal pain, obstipation, or diarrhea should be evaluated for intussusception. Renal involvement rarely may lead to renal failure. The prognosis of HSP is excellent. Most children have complete resolution of the illness without any significant sequelae. HSP patients with renal disease, with elevated blood urea nitrogen, or persistent high-grade proteinuria, are at highest risk for long-term complications, such as hypertension or renal insufficiency, particularly if the initial course was marked by significant nephritis. There is a long-term risk of progression to end-stage renal disease in less than 1% of children with HSP. The rare patients who develop end-stage renal disease may require renal transplantation. HSP may recur in the transplanted kidney. That's all for this video. Thank you.